Hi, my name is Andrew Brinesteff, and we're doing, today we're doing the Crush Project. To start out, the athlete should wear low-heeled shoes and stand with good postures and his feet close together. Now, with the crutch height, the crutches should be an inch under his armpit, and they should be able to put three fingers in between his armpit. Now, with the hand brace, the, the athlete's wrist should be at, at the hand brace, and when he puts his hand on the brace, his elbow should be at a 30 degree angle. Now, now with walking, he would place the crutch tips 12 to 15 inches ahead of the feet. The athlete lean forward, straighten the elbows, pull the upper cross piece firmly against the side of his chest, and swing or step, or, and swings or steps between the stationary crutch. We're going to be doing the four point walking with partial weight bearing. Stand on both feet, one crutch is moved forward and the opposite move, and the opposite step, foot steps forward. Crutch is moved to just in front of the foot on the same side. The opposite foot steps forward, followed by on the same crutch and so on. His, his injured, for this example, his injured foot will be his right. Now for walking up steps, the good rule of thumb is good foot, bad foot. The athlete moves their feet close to the first stair, weight is placed on the hands, and the athlete steps up with the unaffected foot, then with the affected foot. The athlete then places weight on the unaffected foot and, the, and moves the crutches up to the stair, continue the process up the stairs. Reminder, his bad foot is his right foot. Now walking down the stairs, the rule of thumb is bad foot, good foot. The athlete should move close to the edge of the stair, weight is placed on the unaffected foot, and then the athlete moves the crutches and unaffected foot down to the stair. The weight is shifted to the crutches and the unaffected foot is moved to the next step. This process is continued down the stairs. This concludes this project.